Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Silent Runner 54 and we're gonna carry on with uh, part 10 of the Lord of the Rings Gollum. Come, come. Well, Gollum has just helped Mel escape Merwood. Leading Mel into filthy woods very selflessly, yes. Take our hands. Who did you say saw Gwendol? Grimaces are wasted on me, you know. This bit. Without a sink, but that's down to the game. Not, um, it's nothing to do with my end. It will sort itself out in a bit though. What's this? Precious. What is it? Are you looking at my ring? Is it nice? Yes. Is it powerful? Is it precious? Don't. It's not a magic ring. But Gwendol made it for me. I had tried oh, to go. make him one just like it. It's not it's not it. my best work. But yeah, that little bit. Fit. So he wore it on a chain around his neck. End of the game, which I think, and it was all down the game. So here we are, going into chapter 8. Listen. What is that? It's done then. Truthlings. Truthlings? Go climb a tree and find some Lairo for me. Lairo? Lairo. You don't know Lairo. It's a, a golden lichen. Looks like a dwarven beard. What's the elf want it for? You'll see. So we need to climb a tree and find a golden lichen for Mel. is not very nuanced. Yes, yes, Smeagol helps. Alright, we got the this lichen. This orange. And back to ah, And it stinks. The truthlings will lull your thoughts. Let tongue speak true whether you like it or not. Take a bite of Laira, however, like this. Then their spell is gone. And so is most of their marvel. So the real question is, do you trust me? <laughs> it's the a golden trick, my precious. The truth How could it be a trick? I am giving you a choice. Working, basically. And we'll go with Smeagol this time. Don't want strange let hero. Think. The elf could ask us anything. Anything. I'm gonna go with scared. No, cautious. See, if we eat, then thou knows too. She'll know all our thoughts and plans. Oh, and what if it asks how Smeagol wants to break her little neck? Mel trusts us. She wouldn't ask that. Are you ready? Well, Gollum was a lot easier to convince in that situation. Not eating it. Good choice. Come on, I want to listen to them. No, go away for me. No bridge here. I know these waters. Let me calm them down a little. Go ahead, she 
he's willing to let us cross. Here comes angry rivers. Lead Mel past the truthlings. Ah, so these are the truthlings. Oh, one more thing. Tiny detail. You won't remember anything you told me. What did it say, my precious? Yeah, something tells me that Mel is not the friendly elf she makes out to be. Truthlings to know the truth. You're hissing. When you lie, you always start hissing. Schmeagol doesn't hiss. Okay, I'll listen out for that one. What do we need bells for? Need more stones. Smeagol, come this way. This way? No, no, no. No. I need to find more stones so I can ring the last two bells. Let's get inside. We can spend the night here. Oh, it's really difficult to find stones. Oh, let's just go in here for now. <laughs> oh, there we go. Pity we can't hear the bells high up in the tower. Can you see the moon? Don't fear. The white face will not find her. But I'd wish to be found. What's her shape now? Mel must be hungry. Perhaps could Smeagol find some eggs? Is it waxing? It can't be full yet. <laughs> no. No nice moon. Smeagol goes and finds tasty find things for Mel. Treat. Don't stay too long. The woods can be fickle. The bells once honoured those we lost, long ago in the Battle of Dagorla. Elves and men marched against the Dark Lords together. So few of us were destined to return. <laughs> it mustn't talk about him! Okay, so this is a... All history. <laughs> About the elves. Hello, dear. What's wrong? A monster? No, he's not. He's helping me. 
Who is she talking to? been able to crawl under him or something, but never mind. This might take a while because I have no idea where I'm getting food from. I'll try and get over that way where that yellow dot's pointing. Ah, stone. Which bell haven't I rung yet? That one. Just one more then. We can find. Oh, there's another one there. Yeah, this should be the last one. Oh. No, no, wrong way. Oh, no, I can't go that way. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Here I can climb. <laughs> ah, yes. I'm supposed to go that way. Who doesn't like the moon? You are strange. That's what Deagle always said. A little strange. Yes, perhaps we are. That's quite all right. Like it, she eats it, doesn't she, the wicked elf woman? 
lulls us into dusty glowworms. <laughs> Look at the more stones because there's another bell there I can ring. It says to go this way. There we go. There's the last bit. Snail. Snails eat snails, don't they? Hmm. Perhaps not. Enough food for one night. Maybe we find more. What has it asked us, eh? We want to know. What did Sneagle tell her? But it doesn't matter, because tomorrow, after she opens the breach for us through treacherous haze, what then? Break her nasty little neck! Now oh, I need to get back to now. That's why I came down. Apparently I cannot go back to that way. I shall not pass. I'll have to find a different way around. This one. Something tastier for Mel. But the elf knows mighty spells. Perhaps it makes Sneagle blind too. Clever elf, yes, but blind. Wait until it's weary. Wait until it's sleepy. And then... Crack! Nope, did not mean to jump off like that. I need to try and figure out how to get back. The elf knows mighty spells. Perhaps it makes Sneagle blind too. Clever elf, yes, but blind. There. Wait until it's weary. Wait until it's sleepy. And then... Crack! Down. Any love? For a food. Look, look! What if I could? Mm, what should we offer her? Beautiful snail. snail, yes. Mm. Shell cracks so nice. Don't, it's her shell. You don't eat snails, they are beautiful. <laughs> Mellish, not nice. Smeagol looked everywhere. His hand stinks of leaves. God, they stinks. You can stop worrying, you know. I didn't ask you anything in that truthling cave. Not worried, no. Smeagol has nothing to hide. Shh. There's something up there. Oh. Bird back. We know that voice. See who's back? Nice bird. Has it looked for help? No, I don't it's like fine. the sound of this one. It speaks a strange tongue. 
Because we taught him, didn't we, my precious? Shh. Now do anyone have the wrath? She scared him. There is something foul about that bird. Where is foul? We will go sleep inside. The elf can stay and watch the moon. <sighs> All right. Okay, who's talking to? What was that? Escape creatures. Oh, what creatures are they? What purple lights? Oh, there's an egg there. I could have got that egg earlier. I just don't be able to clear the way, but they don't like sound. <laughs> okay, don't let them touch me. I can't let them touch me. Jump, I need to eat something. No, oh. no. I just have to watch their patterns.
wasn't close enough to the bell. We need to be close enough, it's going this way. Okay, two of them. Figure this out. No, you don't drop the right back at the beginning. Thank you. No, nope. missed it completely that time. It didn't touch me, did it? So it passes and then up. Oh. Jump across this time because I honestly don't know what that was. So. Okay, so go under. I'm just going to have to move my way through them. Me. I think it was Gwendolyn. In fact, I'm sure of it. 
Quen do? I believe somehow he saw me, protected me. Come, the gate is not far now. Didn't protect us. No, he didn't. Mirkwood, the breach. They had reached the border of the wooden realm. Gollum planned to get rid of Mel as soon as she was no longer needed. But Smeagol now had doubts. Mel was his friend and she had kept him safe. Hmm. Perhaps it was the wraiths playing tricks on Mel. It was him. I'm sure of it. What's the name of these, my precious? Find the breach through Just the hands. Plants. Tried to reach the bird up there. Don't think I can though. Oh, I can't throw a stone now. Now a glade opens before her. Large tree in the middle. Yes. I think that's why. We are here. It's my the border bird. of our realm. Where's the breach? How do we open it? I don't know yet. We know the breach. That was her words. And I never said I knew how to open it. We only ever tried to close it. We? There were eight of us. Gwendol was our teacher and mentor. This is where I last saw them. Saw anything for that matter. Right here he stood, at the tree. And then he was gone. And the others? Dead, or worse. And I was blind. Well, I'm guessing we're going to reactivate the breach. Gwendol stood here. I was back at the river. The others stood at the six rune stones. Each rune stone guards one part of the spell. Air, water, circle, binding, mirror, deceit. <sighs> but they had to be called in the right order. If I could only remember who stood at which stone. Why does it bring us here if it can't remember most important things? Shh. What is it? The air. It still carries their voices. Don't you hear them? Voices? Close your eyes. What should we do? Trust her. Trust her, trust her. Ghosts? Not ghosts. Memories. Echoes. This place still remembers my friends. I can't listen to them. I'm too afraid of what I might hear, but the echoes might lead us. How can whispers lead us? Ignore birds, river and flowers. Just listen. Breathe in the sense. Can you see them? Yes. Ah, okay. The I must know what happened there. to the six that stood at the stones. Look around. Follow them. Tell me what you see. Okay, so it's a little bit of investigation. This stick has elvish stuff. marks on it. That must be Eristor's staff. It's broken. He must have fled that way before the chaos devoured him. Where does the scent lead you? That must be Eristor's staff. I guess we're following the blue trail. One of the stones where the elf Stone. stood. If you're standing where I think you are, then yes. Any idea? The elf with the staff must have fled from this stone. So this is where Eristor stood. Yes, I think that's right. Three were men and three were maidens. Okay, so that's one. Eristor, Kellen, and Dondofer. Prian. Kethel and Turian. Erister Kellan, Tundalfa, Brian Kethel, Turian. If I could remember how it all happened, then maybe I'd remember the order of the spell. What happened here? Oh, well, 
and we had almost done it. A haze that would forever hide our realm from the eyes of the Mirkwood. But there was one last breach left for us to close, here, at the Enchanted River. And so we did. We all had our part to play. Mine was to calm the river and win her over, but I didn't trust the water. I warned Gwyndil, but he wouldn't listen. We closed the breach, but then... All I remember is a glaring light, fair like silk but unrelenting. When I woke up, there was only darkness and silence. I called their names, called Gwyndil, but there was nothing. So you see, I need to find Gwyndil. I must. So we don't know whether Gwyndil is still alive or not. Everyone assumes he's dead. Okay, let's go find these other elves. So we found that one. Hello, sweet one. Where have you been so long? Is he a crow? I never trusted crows. Not a crow? No! Good bird! Elf with staff. Ritual stone. You should look around first. Maybe we can find some clues. I hope they're not obscure and hidden. And it's going to take me ages to find them. Understone. There's quite a few stones. Let's go and have a look down here. There's a lot of molten rock around here, but no clues. something but what what's wrong there arrowheads arrowheads what is it the long the kind of mr mark Yes, precious. Look around. Okay, we need some sort looking? of scent or something. We found the arrowheads. Do they both do that? I guess there's no obvious clues. Where's the 
does this one go? This stone. Don't just guess. Well, I'm not guessing on that one. There's a trail. Footprints here, naked. So who did the footprints belong to? I'm not sure. This way, James, the woods. Oh, one of them wear feathers. We all did. Well, except Kathy. She had her beautiful braids. Okay, so one elf did not wear feathers. No signs of Gwenda. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, so there's another trail back. But it looks like it's separate from the footprints as well. Tell me what you think. Uh she also breaks. Careful then. Or one of the others. Hold on, because, yeah, that leads to feathers. The braids doesn't seem right. What's this? What's this? Hmm. Looks like one of the middle master's butterflies. It's blood. What? You found something? Do we tell her or not? It's a sign. A yes. sign left by the Riddle Master. What? Are you certain? It must be alive. Must have fled through the breach. Well, describe it. It's a mm. butterfly. Drawn yeah, let's blood. tell her about the blood. blood. <laughs> Long dry. We should hurry. The Riddle Master didn't stand at one of the stones, did he? No, he stood here under the tree. Mr. Back Mark. to the arrow heads. But no trail. Oh, there's Something in the water. But Mel said. Mel said. Mel said. Yes, blind elf is such a big help. Okay, that trans went all the way down here. And up to a ritual stone, I think. So? Yeah, we've got elf with bow on this one. Tree. Kellon, let's see where it leads us. Wait, here must have been. Come yeah, on, we'll go in there with well. the ball.
Okay, that was sour. Well, it seems like I do have been under the water. What's this? We thinks. Dondofer carried a knife like that. <coughs> hmm. This must be where the knife elf jumped. Dondofer. Okay. There's another trail. Okay, we're starting to piece it together now. I found the other end of that broken knife. So Dondofer must have been right there. On the other end of that broken knife. So Dondofer must have been right there. Okay, so let's go to this stone. And we'll roll with Elfwood knife. Knife. Dondofer. Yes. Good. On to the next one. Done a couple of these that we haven't sussed out yet. That's their heads, but we've already done that one. Into the water. Well, I, don't, I don't think there's anything else to find under here. I think it's just that knife. There's got to be clues somewhere, but obviously I'm not finding them at the minute. No. <clears throat> no, just go back the way I can now. Yeah, 
just going around in circles at the minute. This is frustrating because uh, I was hoping that the clues would be easy to find. Come on, there's gotta be something else. There's the feathers, there's the footprints. Where are the footprints all leading? There are faces in the stone. Faces? Cursed elf faces. Looks like two she elves. They must have tried to hide. Who was the she elf without feathers? Kathy. Yeah, we've already done that one. Well, we'll say that for now. I'm gonna have to try and guess them, but I've not found it for King yet. No, I must think. I at least need to find the clue before I can get an idea of the elf. Ah. Looks like two she elves. They must have tried to hide. Oh yeah, done that one as well. So they know what happened to the elves.
Hopefully soon I'm gonna find something because this is just I must know which of my friends stood at which stone. Getting annoying. Look around. The smallest thing might help us. Our turn. Cannot be seen, cannot be felt, cannot be heard. Dark. Even knew that. So after a while, I did uh, cut this down a bit because there was another. Uh, ten minutes of searching. So we're at a point now where I did actually manage to find the rest of the clues and continue the story. Okay, so let's go back to the bare feet. The footprints. What's the barefooted elf's name again? Turian. Okay, now let's go to the stone. Make the connection. Look everywhere now. Nothing more to find. Very well. Let's put it all together. Ugh, this is wrong. I think it was... This is where the barefoot elf must have been. Mm-hmm. She off with the feathers there. Let's see where it leads us. Praise. Kethil, then. Eristor, Donbefer, Prien, Turien, Kelon, and Kethil. Yes. I think that's where they all stood. Quest, Nen, Gwyllith. Kendril, Ringhorn, Luz. Quest me, Gwyllith, Kendril, Ringhorn, Luz. Self-deceit. Not something's happening. There's the breach dropping, I think. Is it Into the path through the haze. Is it breach door? I hope so. But the woods beyond, they are not. Stay close, you will get lost without me. Okay, so I'll press on. Oh, let me rest here for a while. Ooh. Tired it looks, yes. Tired and spent. Of course, we can wait. Pity I don't have my eyes now. We can be her eyes. Picture beautiful gardens for her. Then she will see. Yes, she will see. Is this the point where he... Now, no time for rest, not now. Yes, now, now, poor blind, lonely elf, we shall be her eyes. I am ready. Okay, let's go with Gollum. What does it want to hear about? Is the moon shining now? It's a starless night. No, no faces. Nice starless night. Not a single piercing spark. 
No stars. That's not a good omen. Not good at all. Smeagol doesn't like this place. The birds don't seem troubled, though. Tell me about them. Hmm. We'll go with thrushes. Birds, yes. We see thrushes in the trees. They are friendly birds. Keep going. This used to be such a beautiful place. Oh, yes. So beautiful. And what else? Flower beds. But most beautiful of all are the flowers. A whole sea of yellow bloom. Can the elf see now? Yes, elf sit very still and listen closely. Picture all the nice flower beds and moths and snails and butterflies. I'm going on with the argument. Picture the flowers for me. Irises. The entire glade used to be overgrown with them. They must be in full bloom now. Yes. Beds of irises, so nice. All swallowed by mist, holding them in their cubicle. Okay, so this is the point where he tries to kill now. Okay, I think this is a good place to leave it. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I shall see you for the next episode of Gollum. It's gone! The breach is gone! You, you ruined it! We would have been free! You killed him! You're weak! You're weak! You killed Deagle! All those years sitting in a cave eating fish! We could have been a lord! I hate you! No wonder the precious left you. And I hate the precious. Be quiet. I hate it forever. Forever. Be quiet. Be quiet. Treasure.